Hi students, I'm Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the UML component diagram. So this UML component diagram is a UML structural type of diagram. And a component diagram is used to break down a large object-oriented system into a smaller components so as to make them more manageable. It models the physical view of a system such as executables, files, libraries, etc. that resides within the node. This diagram visualizes the relationship as well as the organization between the components present in the system and the component diagram helps in forming an executable system. A component is a single unit of a system which is replaceable and executable. The implementation detail of a component are hidden and it necessitates an interface to execute a function. It is like a black box whose behavior is explained by the provided and required interfaces. The different notations used in a component diagram are a component and a node. A node is represented with a cube as well as a component is represented with a rectangle with two sub rectangles. So my student, the purpose of a component diagram is as follows. Since this component diagram is a special kind of UML diagram, it holds the distinct purposes. It describes all the individual components that are used to make the functionalities, but not the functionalities of the system. The component diagram visualizes the physical components inside the system. The components can be library, packages, files, etc. And the component diagram also describes the static view of a system which includes the organization of component at a particular instant. The collection of component diagram represents a whole system. The main purpose of the component diagram are enlisted as below. It envisions each component of a system Secondly, it constructs the executable by incorporating forward and reverse engineering. And third one, it depicts the relationship and organization of component. Then there arise a question, why we use a component diagram? The component diagram have remarkable importance. It is used to depict the functionality and behavior of all the components represented in the system. Unlike other diagrams that are used to represent the architecture of the system, working of a system or simply the system itself is represented in a component diagram. In UML, the component diagram portrays the behavior and organization of components at any instant of time. The system cannot be visualized by any individual component but it can be by the collection of components. Following are some reasons for requirement of a component diagram. Firstly, it portrays the component of a system at the runtime. Secondly, it is helpful in testing system. And third one is it envisions the link between several connections or different components. So then there arises a question when we should use a component diagram. A component diagram represents various physical components of a system at a runtime. It is helpful in visualizing the structure and organization of a system. It describes how individual components can together form a single system. Following are some reasons which tells when to use a component diagram. Firstly, to divide a single system into multiple components according to the functionality. Secondly, to represent the component organization of the system. So my dear students, next we are dealing with how to draw a component diagram. A component diagram is helpful in representing the physical aspect of a system, which are files, executables, libraries, etc. The main purpose of a component diagram is different from other diagrams. It is utilized in the implementation phase of any application. Once the system is designed employing the different UML diagrams and the artifacts are prepared, the component diagram is used to get an idea of implementation. It plays an essential role in implementing applications efficiency. Following are some artifacts that are needed to be identified before drawing a component diagram. Those artifacts are 
what files are used inside the system, what are the applications of relevant libraries and artifacts, and thirdly, what is the relationship between the artifacts. Following are some points that are needed to be kept in mind after the artifacts are identified, that is, those points are using a meaningful name to ascertain the component for which the diagram is about to drawn. Before producing the required tool, a mental layout is to be made. Thirdly, to clarify the important points, notes can be incorporated. So my dear students, there arises a question where to use a component diagram. The component diagram is a special purpose diagram which is used to visualize the static implementation view of a system. It represents the physical components of a system or we can say it portrays the organization of the components inside the system. The components such as libraries, files, executables, databases, data structures, etc. are first need to be organized before implementation. The component diagram can be used for the following. Firstly, to model the component of the system. Second one is to model the schemas of a database. Third one is to model the application of an application. Fourth one is to model the system's source code. So, my dear students, these are the different aspects relating with a component diagram. So, my dear students, in this lecture, we had discussed the component diagram. So, as we mentioned, a component diagram is a structural diagram which is used to break down a large object oriented system into a smaller components so as to make them more manageable. So, my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So, dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. Our question is. Write notes on UML component diagrams. So, my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss an example relating with this component diagram. So, dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.